A group accused of taking lavish trips with taxpayer money is refusing to release financial information to the state. The state and the group called Iowa Communities Assurance Pool, or ICAP, will be headed to court tomorrow. KCCI investigative reporter Alex Schumann tells us what the state is looking to find. That's right, Stacy. ICAP provides property and casualty insurance coverage for nearly 800 Iowa public entities, including county and city governments. Here's the group's building in Johnston. They've recently been under fire after the Associated Press reported board members hold, hold public meetings at lavish out-of-state resorts, costing tens of thousands of dollars. Spending records show the boards met several times at Lake Michigan and on islands off the coast of Florida. This type of spending caught the eye of Auditor Rob Sand. According to an open letter posted on ICAP's website, Sand's office contacted ICAP last year in October about auditing the organization's expenditures. Sand eventually sent an investigative subpoena demanding copies of settlements made above $50,000 and other information provided to board members. ICAP argues they are a private entity and therefore Sand has no authority to audit them. He says they are funded by tax dollars, which means he does. This is the first step on the journey to transparency and accountability for ICAP. We need to know what's going on with public funds, and we need to know how they're being spent and to whom uh, they're being provided. ICAP's online letter reads in part, as an organization, we are concerned by the open-ended nature of the state auditor's request, including their proposed investigation of ICAP's claim resolution procedures, which, if such information was released to the auditor's office, would be harmful to ICAP members and detrimental to the existence of ICAP. Now, they said in an email they do not comment on pending litigation. Sand said if the judge rules in ICAP's favor, the legislature may want to step in and change the law.